Boring. Boring? What should I do today? Maybe I... Nah, now the Earth is going to start telling its scientific facts again. Screw it. Hey, Sean. How are you bored, too? Yeah, nothing much to do. As if you had something to do earlier. You're always standing around and now you want to do something? <sighs> there was a time. I appeared about four and a half billion years ago. I was formed from cosmic clouds that were attracted to each other because of gravity. And began to glow to the point that a nuclear reaction began in me. And this term was invented by people from Earth. I like it, so I use it. <sighs> and the rest of the dust and gases formed us? The planets? Yeah, that's right. It turns out that the cosmic clouds that formed me left a cash bag. <laughs> but it's not as powerful compared to... Uh... What? Compared to what? I say that's a total wow! Yeah, come think of it, clouds created a whole system. I can't believe it, but that's reality. By the way, Mercury, do you want to go play Miss Your Right Soccer? We can go, but are you sure we won't be bored together? I don't know. When I appeared, I was all alone. I coped somehow. I was little and I didn't know much. And now I don't even know how you would live without me! Are you doing it again, you narcissistic creature? So what? You're a little skank! What? You fat freak! Go f- <laughs> Space newspapers are really interesting these days. Hello, Earth. Hi, Venus. Wait just a moment. I need to finish reading the last sentence. And... I'm done. You wanted to ask something, or do you just want to chat? Yeah, I have a question, but that we can talk, of course. Ask away, then! What are you waiting for? Well, sorry for a stupid question, but why am I so slow? Huh? What do you mean? I noticed that I'm the slowest, and Jupiter's the fastest, but you can't tell by looking at him. Huh, yeah, Jupiter's just pretending to be slow. But when he needs to, he's so fast! You should have seen him when he went into the black hole. It was something. So yeah, I was just reading about all this in the newspaper. So what can you tell me? Lately, I gained the speed of rotation. No one can explain why this happens, but there's speculation that this is due to the misalignments of my geographic poles. I really hope that this won't lead to anything bad. What? Does this mean that if you spin faster, I will spin faster as well? Good question, guys. But I can't say that. Don't tell us too much. Just tell us what you know. God, there are so many words. Well, first shut up, Venus. I'm talking here if you need answers. I'll say once again that I don't know if the moon will spin faster if I spin faster. But now you are spinning faster and I seem to keep up with you. Well, yeah, everything's okay then. The most important thing is that I don't stop because in this case, it'll be the end of the world. And you may crash into me because I'll lose gravity and air. And many other bad things may happen. As long as everything's okay, I don't have anything to worry about. What a genius you are. You asked for it. <laughs> I'm already tired of a lot of things in this world. There's always something weird going on in me. The solar system that lives on me is always shouting. <laughs> These planets are real psychos. <laughs> Some narcissistic star, the son of yours. And also the smart pens. What is his name? Oh, hers. How do I even live with him? I wish I could explode like the sun and never see this madness. Come on, Milky. I am sick of your always complaining. Do you even realize that if you explode, you'll destroy everything that lives in you? Even the smarty pants. Earth. Yes, yes, including him. And it lives inside you and there's actually life living on him. We are all connected. Then it's easier to explode the whole universe. And what is the universe to you? I thought there's only us. Just two friends. No, the universe is something unexplored and much bigger than us. We're only galaxies, just like planets, and we're located in something greater than us. The universe is everything. It's all the planets, galaxies, stars, filaments, and nodes. Wow, it sounds so beautiful. We should probably be proud to be a part of something like this. I guess so. Must be proud! Yeah, now I'm proud to be part of this world! But what if one day everything explodes? What? Are you deaf or what? I said, what'll happen if everything here explodes? I don't even know what to say. There are many answers to this question, but all of them are not accurate because we don't even know how infinite the space is. I don't give a damn. I just want to blow everything up. Shut the- In general, I try to study a lot. I think it's good to be smart and at least have some knowledge. Not just some random things. In my opinion, knowledge decorates the planet. Well, maybe. But I don't study it. Don't really worry about it. I learned some things from you. In fact, all things I know are from you. You always try to explain everything in our adventures. Well, you're not a planet. That decorates the satellite. 
At least you're not ugly. Oh, hello, Black Hole. Someone wants to see you, and I cannot hold him back, so you have to accept him. Well, no problem. We're not scared at all. Oh, hello. What's your name? Hello. I don't know who I am. I'm looking for my name, so could you give me a name? And get me out of here. I think even Pluto is calmer than you. Where do you come from? Answer that. From the other end of the universe. I just want to ask you what name you would like to call me, and that's it. So I think you should answer me first if you want me to leave you alone. What's going on here? I've just heard a voice that sounded like Pluto, so where is he? I need to talk to him right now. I don't know what Pluto you're talking about, but apparently he's not here. Hey, Big Planet, can you at least give me a name? What? Who are you? Where did you come from? I already told you that I came from the other side of space, through a black hole. I need you to give me a name because I don't have one. They call me the unknown planet, but I don't like it at all. Oh, so all we have to do is to call you something and you'll leave us alone and go back? Moon, I don't think so. It'd be strange if he came here just for us to give him a name. So we have to be careful. As people say, a psycho can be understood only by a psycho. Come up with a name already. What a crap day. Pluto hasn't come. This weird and ugly planet doesn't want to leave. Luckily, Mars is not here. Oh, crap? That sounds good. Crap. Call me crap, then. Perfect name. Oh, I'd love to, crap. Oh, I like it. Now I'm crap. And what about idiot? Do you like it? Nah, total bullshit. Oh, I used to be so handsome when I was young. And what now? I've become somewhat jumpy. Nah, I haven't really changed. I'm the same as I was, just a little bit older. <laughs> Mars, are you crying? What? No, it's... I just got something in my eye, that's all. <laughs> Come on, Mars. At least show us what you've got. Hell no, it's none of your business, two idiots. Come on, show us. Well, now let's see what you've got here. Wow, you're so young. Yes, I can even recognize you, Mars. Oh, I remember when I was young, but then I looked worse than I do now. I was also really ugly when I was young. I used to be some kind of fiery ball, something absolutely different from what I am now. I was born in a very strange way, at least according to hypotheses that exist. I was formed from dust, dirt, and spherical masses of gas that appeared after the sun was born. This is according to the theory of the Big Bang. It means I wouldn't exist if there was no sun. That's it, but there are people living on me who think that I am a huge molecule, almost like a new element on the Mendeleev table. I'd like to say that I don't care about your story and how you looked like when you were young. But it may sound rude, so I'll be polite and just ask you to give me my album back. Mars, shut up! Earth, so you were born like this. But what about me? Because I'm the coolest satellite in the whole universe. Okay, I warned you. You're a piece of me. According to the hypothesis, you were a planet that crashed enemy. You're a mixture of this planet and me. So you were born thanks to me, just as I was born thanks to the sun. Oh crap, I thought the story of my birth was a little bit more interesting. Dear planets and moon, I told you to leave me alone peacefully. Well, now screw you! Give me my album and get the hell out of here! Now I'm satisfied. And you get the f- Ouch, damn! It actually hurts! Who are you? Huh? I'm the moon. Very funny joke. I'm the moon. Listen, if you don't tell me who you are right now, I'll have to call Earth and he'll deal with you in no time. Call him. Oh yeah, just right. Oh, there are so many satellites, and all of them think they're me! Oh dear. Ah, uh, Moon. What do you want, you brainless ball? Nothing. I just wanted to ask how you're doing. Wait, what? Who's the brainless ball? You think you're the smartest here or something? And here we go again! Mars, I've got enough problems of my own! Get out of here! I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here. Well, stay there and do nothing as you usually do! Huh. You're actually right. I'll fly away then, but only because I want to. Thank God! Hello, Moon! What's going on here? Oh, hey, Earth! Where's that little bastard? Huh? Who do you mean? Um, I crashed out of some planet or satellite, and he said his name was Moon, and that he flies around you! Hmm, to be honest, that's quite possible. Just recently, people found out that I used to have a second satellite, and it kinda makes sense, but it crashed into me a long time ago, and now its wreckage is located somewhere on me. 
So if it crashed, what did I see? I don't know. Maybe it was a dream. It wasn't a dream, Earth. Don't give me that crap. Hey, my dear friends. There's something flying to you, and he's not alone. Hmm, maybe these are the exoplanets. Haven't seen them in ages. Oh, you again? Who's that guy? I haven't seen him before. I don't know, Mars. The moon was just telling me something about the second moon. Maybe it's him? Earth, you ain't dumb and not smarter than me, but you're talking bullshit right now. Hmm, I'll screw you. That's how we do it. Hmm, Earth is right. What? What are you talking about? We have an argument. Mm. That's how we do it. I agree, screw him. For watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video.